Hey everyone, welcome to Hearst Quasar's Quasar's Customs, playing a little CMS 2018 Car Mechanic Simulator. Today we're going to look at rebuilding this 1971 Chevelle. It's in pretty bad shape. It's a mod from the workshop. And uh, I'm thinking we'll just get to it, alright? I've always had a kind passion for the Chevelles. This is this is a resto resto mod. Like I said, from the workshop, we're going to start building this thing from the ground up. Um, it does have shiny new brakes on it because I did take it into the uh, I did take it into the editor and made some adjustments to it. I mean, it is a resto mod. Resto mod. So I mean, come on. Needs to have disc brakes all the way around instead of the drum brakes you did have. So I added uh, disc brakes to it. Let's just get to it. Let's get some of this found, some of this framework, some of the suspension taken care of. Get some rebuild going. Get this going as quickly as we can here. Figured I'd play a little something different this time around instead of playing some Minecraft, some of my Minecraft videos. Um, just a little bit bored tonight, a little bit tired, so I figured I'd do some car stuff. And I'm all about this game. I, I mean, some people think it's a little boring, taking cars apart, putting them back together. Um, I mean, it's all in the creativity and how you want to, you know, put wheels on it. Um, your style. Just however you want to do this. I mean, the car editor gives you a nice different level to the to the game itself too it just allows you to customize your cars with different engines um, different suspensions and it, it just like I said just gives you a whole new level to the game all right where's the drive shaft I would take this puppy out of here all right we're done with the rear end. Nope, well, let's take the rear axle out of there. I also take the mufflers out. While I'm back here, taking the gas tank out. Fuel pump. Alright. What else can we get out of here? Right, let's get rid of this exhaust. We don't need that there. Alright, take us over to the workbench. Let's get some repair work done. Did have a couple of body parts in there. Alright, so what I like to do, um, let's see how bad our wheels are. Let's take these folks out. Oh, 34%, it's not too bad. We'll take them apart and repair the rims. <clears throat> uh, 27%, I might be able to salvage these rims. See if we can salvage these rims up real quick. Hey, we were able to salvage them. All right. So what I like to do is first things first. My brakes were in good shape. Um, all my brakes were good. Go with the suspension. I always like running it by name, so I know what I've got going on. All right. So I'm gonna need one U-bolt, a couple of <clears throat> shock absorbers, caps, springs rubber bushings a drive axle All right, I think I've got what I think I need to do here go into our parts go to our suspension come on there we go uh, okay we need one u-bolt need a couple of B shock absorbers a couple of caps Couple springs, uh, a couple of rubber bushings. Uh, da, 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 da. What else? I think I need one drive axle. Uh, what else did I need? Bounce out real quick. Take a look. And then what I do is just go through and just get rid of all the old parts, rubber bushings. Gotcha. Drive axle good. I uh, needed a spring cap. 
I need a spring cap. I'm going myself a fuel tank. Yeah, it would help if I just went with surcharge option, you know what I mean? Oh, I get a fuel tank. And then I'm gonna go with a uh, high performance fuel pump. Yeah. All right. Now, what tires do we have in this? Uh, ooh, 395 40 16s. 395 40 16s. Holy smokes. All right. Two. 18s. 395s. There are 40s, right? I guess I'll find out. 40s? 40s. Oh, those were 16s? Oh. I screwed that up. Alright, let's go back in there. Okay, so I need 16s too. 395 40s. All right, now we're in there. We might as well sell the two 18s. Don't need those. I don't need the old 16s. Get rid of those. So while I'm working on that, as you notice, I've got a Barracuda over here. It looks like it's slightly lowered. Um, I modified that in the editor as well. Um, if you've seen the Fast and Furious movies, if you've seen the Barracuda, the AAA Cuda that Letty drove, this is what that is going to end up being eventually. Um, I really need to take a look at um, how to do a library for it to make it look right, but um, for right now, it just kind of sits in my garage awaiting awaiting restoration so you know just never have enough time to do the things you want to do but that's all right I mean I'll get to it eventually just like everything else in a garage you know unless you've got a timetable I'm trying to get somebody's cars fixed yeah. you know hey it's all good. That looks kind of funky. Hmm. It's kind of graphically challenged there. The spring went from yellow to brown. I think I also changed the exhaust on this um, just to give it uh, a better look. I had to adjust it around a little bit. Three ninety fives fit up in there? Yikes! Yes, they do. All right, let's grab the other wheel here. Da, 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 da. You hear that? My phone in the background. I'm getting orders right and left. Uh, I've become quite popular in this garage. People are calling me all the time asking me to fix their rides. But hey, I've got my own ride to fix up here. So I'm debating on a color to paint this. I've got a lot of cars, uh, red, orange, white, uh, blue. Um, a nice color for the Chevelle, 71 Chevelle. Uh, I'm thinking of a nice metallic medium blue. I've seen a few um, 71 Chevelles that I've really enjoyed looking at and that's what they were painted. All right, 
Her suspension is done. Let's hop on to the front. Let's go ahead and take care of this front suspension. Brakes on this one is are pretty bad shape. Don't you wish it was this easy in a garage? Be build rebuilding cars right and left. Making tons of money. Suspension is not too bad to work on in these cars. Um, honestly, though, if you were to build, rebuild one of these for in real life, all these pieces you would be busting your knuckles on. <sighs> Invest in some WD-40. I mean, it would be ridiculous. Let's hop on over to the other side. Got some scrawny tires on the front of this puppy. So I did find this in a junkyard. I picked it up for about 10 grand. I'm not sure how much it's going to be worth after a full resto on it. We'll find out here. If I can get this done within a half an hour or less. So the way I play is a little bit different than everybody else that I've seen on YouTube. Um, just by the way, uh, you know, I take my inventory, the way I get my parts, um, the way I take things apart, uh, the way I rebuild a car altogether is totally different. Um, a lot of people go with the engine first. Um, some go with strictly the suspension, interior, fix the body first. Um, I'm all for uh, doing the suspension work. Uh, we failed a few on that one. All right, let's get into the brakes. Okay, see, so we need some some rotors, a caliper, and a couple of pads. So let's just jump right into there. All right, we need. Two ventilated discs, rotor, and two sets of pads. All right, jump out, dump out all my old parts. Make sure I'm good to go there. All right, we'll jump right over to the suspension. Ooh, we got a lot of bad pieces here. Uh, bottom suspension arm, front axle cover, knuckle, sway bar B. And typically all the basic stuff. Got a rubber bushing. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the rubber bushing back in here. Ha <laughs> ha. Right there it is. Uh huh. All right. Now the front end, rear end is is done. All right, so let's go into. Oops. Let's go into my parts. Suspension, need a. Uh, no. Need a bottom suspension arm. Gonna need a couple of these double wishbone shock absorbers, a front axle cover. Uh, need a couple of shock absorber caps, a couple of springs. Uh, steering knuckle C, I believe it was. Uh, front sway bar B. Tie rods are always replaced. Uh, outer tie rods are always replaced. And with this type of front end, you need 12 of these bushings. So we'll go with the 12 of those bushings. Um, your links, you always have two of those. Um, and your wheel bearings, always two of those. Always two of your caps, because none of that repairs. So let's see how close we did. All right, bottom suspension arm, boom, got rid of that. Front knuckle, yep, got that. 
Uh, front knuckle C, yep, got that. Front sweep bar, yep. Oof, got a wheel hub. I always forget something. Ooh, steering rack. Oh, we needed B's, not A's. Alright. We need an upper steering rack and B's. So, a couple of those. Steering rack, upper control arm. That should about do it for that piece of it. Alright, so while I'm over here, I need to assemble my shock absorbers. Let that take care of that. Uh, looks like I might be doing pretty good with the rims and stuff here. My rims are looking like they're in pretty good shape. I believe I can repair them. 23% I should be able to. Um, yeah, 27%. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, one shock done. Alright, let's see here. Alright. So, four tires. What are my tires? My tires are... Uh, 170s, 80s, 16. 170, 80, 16. And I still need to get a new front wheel hub. So, let's hook up with the front wheel hub first. Okay, we'll go into. It's not where I wanted to go. Two, there were 16s, or 170s. Let's let's put them a little meatier on the front. Let's go 205s. Um, all right, let's stick with the 50 profile this time around. Let's see what that looks like. A little meatier. A little meatier than what we had on the front of it, anyway. Grab my shock absorber. <laughs> like my shop truck. I'm loving this thing. This is from Fully Sick. This is one of the best shop trucks uh, I have ever built. I love this truck. I mean, look at the bed. Beautiful, right? All right, back to business here. Okay, I should have all my pieces that I need. So let's go to it. All right. Whenever you put in your suspension, I always, always, always first things first when you're on this side go ahead and put your bushings in first because I tell you what you'll forget them every time and it just it's painful when you put everything together and you're missing a part and you're like wow how did I miss that it's easy to miss the bushings are probably one of the easiest things to miss on these on these cars okay shock absorbers going in See if I can pan out a little bit. Uh, upper control arm. Uh, that's it for the front end there. Alright. We're building them quick. A wheel bearing in there. Cap. Brakes. Adds. Calipers. Alright, put the wheel on it. Now that I went to the 50 series instead of an 80 series, it should drop the front end down a little bit. 
Um, we'll see what it looks like here in a minute. Oh, again, I always put my bushings in first. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason as to how I put this stuff together, just, you know, whatever comes to me. Yeah, shot comes over in there. Yes, sir, we Bob. What do you mean I have no items to work with? Did I leave it over on the... Where is it? Oh, I didn't balance it. Silly me. That's what the problem is. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Ah. <sighs> Good mechanic always makes mistakes. Phone's about ready to drive me nuts. All right. So now we have that. All right, let's drop this puppy on the ground. And I'm thinking I need to put some fenders on it so I can see how it truly sits. Oh, I'm liking the stance on it already. Um, let's get some body parts here. Um, uh, 1971. I come up with stuff. Froze. Okay, good. Uh, some good stuff here. Let's get the fenders at least for right now. I think I got a front end. Yeah. I'm thinking it's too shabby. This car is green. I'm not a big green guy myself. All right, I'm thinking uh, it's got a pretty good stance to it. What do you think? All right, do a couple of quick things now, and uh, well, that's all brand new. I did stick it in there. Let's get the battery out of there. All right, I always have a spare battery over here, so I always just swap batteries. So I always have a good battery. Let's see if I can rebuild this uh, master cylinder. Nope. Looks like I gotta go buy one. <laughs> All right. Oh, master cylinder, uh, battery. I also put a new radiator in it too. So, I mean, I have did made some changes to the car. All right, um, not looking too shabby. The wheels are sticking in, in the trunk a little bit. I'll throw some more body pieces on it a little later. So far, it's looking pretty good. I think I'm liking the stance on it. Uh, let's move it over here to the front of the. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. 
I think it will come out pretty darn good. Alright, so. I'll put this back over on the rack. And that'll be it for today. We're just going to make this nice and short. Uh, next time we'll come in, we'll rebuild the engine, and we'll take care of the rest of the car. Until then, have a good one. Build your cars to your liking. And always remember Quasar's Customs. This is Hearst Quasar, and I am out.